guys. Is this like becoming a meme in my recordings now or something? The mad postman ringing at the doorbell in the middle of the recording. It, it's literally like the last three times I've been recording. The postman has always been there. Hey guys and welcome to yet another episode of Transport Fever 2 in the free mode with me, Spacefish. We are right over here in beautiful Colburn looking at our beautiful new huge train station that we just built in the last episode. And uh, I think if I can recall correctly that we did finish off most things on this and I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to expand this a little more, you know, eventually. But um, for the time being, we've got a nice beautiful big building here. For all those uh, passengers that we're planning to transport to flog into, and um, next thing would probably be uh, working on Dali Dale, which is going to be quite a big task as well. And I'm actually not quite sure. I think we would have to get rid of that commercial building most likely, and maybe also like redo the streets a bit and everything. Um, but okay, okay. Um, first things first, I want to just check out real quick that we have all the connections here going properly still. Um, we had these lines right here, which we've got purple line right here, right? What, what's this one here? Um, tram Colburn, okay, that does seem to make sense. Then we have got this, uh, oh, where's the other one? Um, should be some fuel line, should it not? No, wait, no, fuel line is that right there. Food, food, it should be food. Where's food? Food delivery truck Colburn, okay. That looks very nice. Um, I'm wondering how far we've brought up the growth index by now, plus 50%. It's actually pretty crazy, isn't it? It's a lot of traffic, which is interesting. Uh, I mean, I mean, we have expanded the streets, so hopefully that should not be that big of an impact uh, anymore. I also would kind of like to expand at least these two as well, because I'm pretty sure the, con uh, the country, the um, city is going to expand beyond these two streets. So maybe kind of worth expanding those already before um, before that gets too expensive. But then again, we don't really have that much money. So I think we'll get the time playing actually to make some more money. And in the meantime, we will kind of check out what to do with this. So if you guys remember, we have this food line going here, which that train is supplying food all the way over to Colburn. Now what we would need to kind, uh, kind of take care of here is... Um, We'll get another, get another place for passengers to actually pass through. And, um, question being, how would we do that? First things first, I think we need to kind of expand this train station. Um, getting it another platform, basically. So, uh, well, and more, um, more rails as well, obviously. So, there we go. Um, making that a bit longer then, and, um... We seem to have a cargo platform right here, which is actually kind of a bit annoying, not going to lie. See, that's the thing that my whole layout right now is not kind of the way I would quite want to have it. I would want to have, like, cargo not, like, arrive right here on the passenger terminal, if that makes sense. I would like to kind of have the passenger platforms right here. Which is now not a possibility anymore, to be honest, because uh, this is a bit, like, wide for that. So, um, what is a thing as well? I think I saw that somewhere. I'm not quite sure where, to be honest. There should be some place, like, some way to get passengers to pass underground. Like, to actually get to uh, the passenger platform. But I'm not actually quite sure how that's working right now. I can't really find that. Um, we've got these passenger platforms. We've got these buildings. Yeah, more buildings. And we've got... M ah, here. Ah, okay. So that just gets added when you get an actual passenger platform. Okay. So we could kind of... Could make... Oh, that's an issue though. Because, like, it doesn't look like I've got a way in for them, does it? With this, like, with the way this cargo platform is kind of situated right now. Do we have to redo this? I think we do, right? Let's pause this for a second. Maybe we should pause this and actually redo this. Hmm, okay. Um, let me think of alternatives. What we could do... 
And I think we're going to do that. Okay, let me see how many destinations we have that we would maybe want to have a train to. I would want one to Broadstairs and St. Peter's. That could go through to Basingstoke, to be honest. Um, question being, would we want a second train station for that down here? Like one northern and one southern one, or we want one central station? Because, like, this would have to go, go all the way around, thus slowing down the train very drastically. Alternatively, we could have one going down south just like that and easily connecting to these uh, rails right here. So I'm not quite sure about this one just yet. Um, we do have staple for it over there, which is quite a ways out, but could be an option. Blackburn and Darleydale, I think we both want to have. Um, could probably do those using one railway only. But down would be a second one. Um, could then probably make that go up to Evesham. Or across to Leighton. But yeah, I mean, I would think at least like three passenger lines. Maybe like four even. Um, okay. I think we're just going to expand this once. Make this like... Oh no, I don't, I don't want to remove that module though, please. Is that literally attached to that? Oh god, will I really have to redo all this stuff right now? You can't do that to me. Come on. Oh my god. It's actually super annoying. How can we... Okay, say we place a... Oh god, this is literally... We're gonna literally have to redo all this, don't we? Okay, let me kind of see where my central building was at. Okay, so not... Oh, if I remove this, it's already gone, huh? Okay, um, passenger platform. God, this is annoying. This is kind of really... I wish there was just a way to swap back and forth between those, but then again, I probably should have just set it up properly in the first place, shouldn't I? Ah, uh, God. Okay, so, um... Passenger building is right here, up front, this little junction. Well, like the central building, that is. Okay, ow, that hurts. That really hurts to see that. Okay. So, redoing that then. Um, all of it, actually. That's, um, kind of annoying. I was really happy with that. But, um, didn't really quite think of that factor. But I think that's literally the way that we're going to do it. So, passenger side will probably be here, and then cargo side will be over here. And then we'll actually have to move that truck stuff over there as well. So, um, main building was right there, so firstly, side building. Then, main building, yes, perfect. And then, more side buildings. Sort out to here? Does that look right, or do I need one more? I mean, for symmetry's sake, I would need one more, right? Is that one, two, three? Main building, one... Oh, looks good. Okay, never mind. Don't mind me. Um, now, we... Well, basically, this thing starts right where this junction ends, but then again, we want to kind of get rid of that cargo building for a second, don't we? Okay, let's get rid of that for a second. We Yes, I know that we have an issue now. Um, then, all this stuff basically has to go again, which is absolutely annoying. Oh, boy. I'm literally destroying half the train station, am I not? Just redoing everything from scratch right now. And that's a way to waste money, I guess. Um, but once all this stuff is gone, just like that, we will have to delete a part of this train track as well in a second. Okay, but now uh, we will place a train track right here. Just like that. Perfect. Then we will place another one right here. And I'll just kind of go out with this. Um, um, God. I mean, I guess we can leave it connected for a second, but we, we will disconnect it afterwards one way or another. So we will get some passenger platforms. Just like this. And then how many destinations did I say? At least one, two, at least three. I think I want to have like four, four or five passenger tracks just to make sure that we actually have enough. I think we can have five easily. Because we would need another platform one way or another, so we can just attach like another train track to the other side of the platform. And um, then, after that... See, like, uh, 
Yeah, so one train track to the other side of the platform, and then after that, like, another train track, which will be the first cargo track, pretty much. Then I'll kind of have to find out how many cargo tracks I would want. I wouldn't think it's too many, and that's... I'm literally... I'm... Guys. Is this, like, becoming a meme in my recordings now or something? The mad postman ringing at the doorbell in the middle of the recording. It, it's literally, like, the last three times I've been recording, the postman's always been there. I mean, maybe maybe it's like some some guy that watches a series or something and knows that I'm recording just wants to be in it or something. I I I have no explanation for this. I really don't. At, at this point, I'm kind of like, yeah. I, I really don't know what to say anymore, right? Like, at least he's not being the angry postman that he usually is today. He's just probably kind of accepted that I'm not ever gonna open the door for him again. <laughs> but like. <laughs> Seriously, what is this? What is this timing? That's so weird. Okay, we've got um, five passenger tracks, one cargo track. So, um, thinking about things, right? I wouldn't really think that we ever really would want to have a fuel train station, because like this is so close anyways. The one thing I'm not sure about, though, is if when cities grow, they will start demanding more goods, which I could imagine that would be the case, but I just, I'm not really far enough in the game to know. So I think I kind of just want to overexpand this a bit and avoid having too little space and having to tear everything down once more, if that makes sense. So um, we are just going to do far, uh, four cargo tracks for a start. I think that should pretty much hopefully last us forever. If not, you know, we, we will actually have to end up doing that again, but... Let's see. I, I hope that we are going to be good. What I'm also kind of wondering about, by the way, is, um... Oh, wait a second. Haha. -ha. Okay, I think we're actually... Wait. Four is not really an option, is it? I think it needs to be five, then. Unless we want to build platforms right here again, which doesn't really make much of any sense. So we'll just do five, whatever. I've got a bunch of money. May as well spend it making this train station even bigger than it was before. So, um, we're gonna do... Oh! This has a limit to it? I never knew! That's actually pretty interesting. I never knew that. Okay. Wow. So, like... I mean, we could do this. Right? We could do that where we just... I mean, the question is, really, if I have, like, a large... Oh, wow. We're kind of... Okay. I mean, the thing is, this train track right now is not really using any cargo platform anyways. So, like, does it even make sense to have that, then? I don't think so. Okay, so let's make it one slimmer, and then I think we will have... I mean, we could have the cargo... Okay, let, let me think about where we will place the cargo buildings, but... This train track doesn't make any sense because we just don't have the space, apparently, to put more platforms there, which is interesting. I, I really didn't know that this was in some way or shape limited, but apparently it is. So, um, we could... Okay, we've got... Oh, we've, we can still put things here, right? But I would really like to keep this to, like, passenger buildings and just make this a bit more massive over time. Um, so, well, we still don't have the option of placing stuff there, so... I really think we only really have the option of going for cargo buildings right here. Which does work. I just don't really quite know. I mean, we could just place them up here. Because I don't really quite know if I really want to have passengers, like, see this as the first site of my city. Well, not my city, you know, but still. Do we want to do that? Because, like, we, we won't go any further with this, with this train station, right? Unless we ever need the fuel, but then we can just, you know, actually move it one over and be happy with our lives. I think that's pretty alright. Um, this is actually pretty interesting always. But, yeah, I think we'll just do it like this for the time being and then uh, kind of just see if that works. So, we will need a street to connect that cargo building, and I'm now going to be wondering if that's actually going to be close enough to this as well. Because, like, theoretically, it should still be in range, I think. Just, I don't know, like, we'll have to see if those mechanics just work there, or if I'll actually have to move that truck stop. 
If I don't, you know, I'm just gonna leave it there. Because now that it already is that way, I would like to rather keep things a little more simple for me, if that makes sense. I don't think we're gonna make this like an electric train track or a train track? A tram track, electric tram track or anything. You can just make it a standard street. Not really gonna need much of anything else right there. So I'm just gonna look out for like alignment right here. Make it as good as possible. I think that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then just try and connect it in here. No, construction not possible. Yes, perfect, great. Who doesn't like to hear that? Oh, come on, are you for real now? <sighs> okay, in theory, if I get rid of this piece of street that nobody needs anyways, will that make it possible? Because we could have a random junction over here, you know? Let me try that. So we would have this, right? Like, that street, nobody needed that anyways. And I'm, I'm kind of wondering if, like, by placing streets within the city, I can actually influence the way the city grows, or if the city just <sighs> builds these on its own. Oh, come on. Um, We would have to get rid of this house right here. I think we'll just do that, because, like, this is pretty weird anyway, so why don't I never connect that properly with tram tracks? Okay, let's, uh, let's redo that part a bit, alright? So, um, hopefully, hopefully redo that. I, I hope that works out the way that I intend it to work. So, I would pull this out rather straight here, right? Just like this, maybe? No, that's not, not far enough. That's too far. God, no! Why? Oh, I, I'm just, you guys know me, I'm just a little bit too too hard into the whole symmetry thing, right? I'm sorry for that, but like, th this, this needs to be perfectly aligned. Okay, so let me double check it this time. This should be about the center of that street, right? Looks like it to me, okay. Looks very straight too. Let's try that then. That looks pretty good. But that looks like it's not gonna work. Yeah. Oh, ah, God. Okay, how does it work? Like that. Why does it, why does it have to look like that? <laughs> Come on. Oh God, guys, I can't live with this. This does not work for me. Okay, um. Can we have any different approach on how we go about this? Maybe connect this thing first? Oh god. Make it a little longer? I mean, to be honest, that does it look at least look a bit better than the other one. And that does mean that this straight stays street uh, street stays straight wow um just to make sure that that works okay cool done good now um first things first this does seem to be in range of this still so we will try that out i'm hoping that works we will find out one way or another um also going to how much am i going to cut this train track by i think we could literally start changing it over here because like eventually we're gonna upgrade this to high-speed train tracks right so I would want it as straight as possible in the first place so I think we're gonna redo a bigger part of this whole train track which I would like if you could just like say like in scrap mechanic you know um click and drag to select like big parts of the whole track that would be pretty nice if that would be possible but okay um so I, yeah, like, one part of the issue probably is I had to bend this in that much right here to not um, cross into that little, uh, whatever that is. Um, so I'm going to try and kind of start adjusting things over here already. Sort of like that, I think. We'll have to check when we get it to actual high-speed train tracks, but that should be a bit better. And we're just gonna, you know... 
Oh god, that, that was actually bending it in too much again, isn't it? Ah, I hate that. Okay, let's um, get rid of like a few of these. What do you mean construction not possible? Are you like trolling? There we go. That was weird. Okay. So, um, construction not possible. Ah, oh, yeah, that street right there is pretty annoying to be honest. I don't want a bridge. Why would I even need a bridge? Can we, like, make that street a little more well suited for us? I think we could... That would be a big change as well, though. We would actually have to kind of change... Let's do it. It's a main road, so that just told me that, and that uh, means that the game's probably not going to be too happy if I leave that road just like this. Which does make sense, because these roads are connecting... Um, some major cities in this area, right? But uh, we're gonna fix that. I am just going to um, going to actually delete this thing up until here. Then we're gonna make a new road, which is gonna be way prettier than it was before. But I'm also kind of ah, right. Okay, that's just categorization. I'm also kind of wondering if there's like some sort of highway or something. Eventually, that would be pretty cool. Wait, no. Um, so, uh, no, no tram track. We're going to make this curved as well. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And then we are just going to... Actually, I've got a nice idea, I think. Do we just want to make it like this? I like that idea. I think we're going to have a little bridge across the train tracks right here. If that works... I mean, that's kind of the question, right? Maybe we should build the train tracks out a bit first. To kind of ensure that that does work out. Because I would kind of be a bit scared by the pillars or something. Just uh, messing things up a bit. So, let me just do this. Kind of try, yeah. Go straight out with these train tracks right there. I, I hope that's not going to impede any of my further construction, but I can always just get rid of them again. But like, if you guys, so like, what I'm basically worried about, right, is that, um, well, the pillars from the bridge are going to like block my further construction efforts. So that's why I'm already pulling these out right here to make sure that the bridge can actually go across the train tracks like that. Um, you know, probably also want to kind of kind of do that. Um, okay. Nope. Please don't do that. No. Nope. Oh god. Okay. So, I think a bridge this height should be fine, right? So we're going to do this first. And then I would like to make it sort of level. Which looks like it would be this, right? Is that level? It looks kind of weird a bit still. Ah, that's why does it do this? Why is it not just going straight? Do you see that, guys? It's literally like, wink Or, wink. I mean, I'm not meaning to launch any cars off the tracks here or anything, right? So, like... Ah, okay, there we go. Also, what I found out... Well, we won't don't want to do it this way, right? But what I found out is that later you get, like... I think you get, like, alternative um, construction uh, methods unlocked, so you can make, like, bridges from uh, steel and concrete and stuff, I think. Which is um, kind of interesting. Kind of really interested in that. And I think also kind of, for trains at least, impacts the speeds at which these trains can go. So, uh, did really kind of look interesting, to say the very least. So, we will... Um, Oh my god, why, why does this bridge have to be wavy like that? That kind of triggers me a bit, not gonna lie. Uh, let's try and keep it straight at the very least. Okay, and then we will just go down right here. Oh, um, hello? That was definitely not the plan at all. I do not know how you got the impression I want the street to go that way. Okay, so we're going back down right here. Just like that. Um, yeah pretty much and then like that that would be the coolest thing ever right I would love to like start building a highway here or something which 
company we don't really need just yet, so I'm not going to do that yet. But I think that that's a cool overall idea. I'm not going to like. I'm not quite sure that's actually going to be a thing. But one way or another, like maybe we're going to do some modded series eventually or something. Okay, can we just stop construction and read? No, he's still okay. Ah, okay. If you click that symbol, you just go level again, huh? Cool. All right. So I'm building the rest of this road. Oh, it's actually kind of expensive, isn't it? Building the rest of the road kind of like this. Theoretically, if we can make it there before uh, going bankrupt. Didn't really want to make a bridge there, though. So maybe we could try and avoid that. Yeah, more like that. Okay, cool. So, uh, just wasted a whole bunch of money there. Um, on this bridge and the whole street. But, you know. That way, we at least have some uh, space to properly build some tracks right here. So, let's do just that then. Um, we will go to tracks. And get a track all the way over here. That will... Wait, which cargo track do we want to connect it to? This one's still cargo, right? So maybe maybe like the inner one for the time being. It makes it very straight as well. Okay, let's go for that. Perfect, cool, awesome. Um, issue... Oh, issue now being we need to refer... Oh my god. So we need to redo this whole train station as well. Which is going to be quite the task. Ah... Uh, See, that's the thing I think that already I'm taking away for myself for like later um, later train stations that I build is when I when I start building something in a like town I'm always gonna start with a passenger station even if I want to just deliver cargo just so it's kind of future proofed in that way that I don't need to tear all this down and start back up with it again right it's like the way that this is right now is kind of annoying I'm not gonna lie that doesn't really work out too well for me. Then again... No, I really would like it to, have, to be one train station. What I'm kind of wondering about, though... Hmm... <laughs> okay, one way or another... I was going to say one way or another we need to make some more money, but holy, that money is rolling in right now. That was a quick one, wasn't it? It's actually crazy. And I spent like a whole another 20 minutes doing all this stuff, but look at that. It just looks great, doesn't it? I really like the overall design of this. We've, we've definitely um, future-proofed this thing. I don't think we ever need to work on that again. And um, probably now going to work on future... Well, not future-proofing this thing, but no, not... No, not destroying it. How do I... Ugh. Boy. Ha, that was a bit spooky. Um, but, like, actually, I'm um, going to work on uh, making this one a bit more usable, too. Which I think we will need to prolong it out of it as well. Which would mean that we would need to destroy more train tracks. But, um, first things first. Does this line here still work? It does look like it is still working. Okay, great. So I just temporarily destroyed that to make it, made it work again, which is good. Um, now what I would want to do here... This is actually... Okay. Um, what I would want to do right here would be... Um, I think I'll destroy like two of these. Don't need to make it any longer, but... No! <laughs> Don't hit play when you've destroyed everything right there. Um, so... Before this... Before doing this, I need to tear down these platforms. Then I need to get passenger platforms going. And I actually just realized that I forgot something in the other train station, which I'm going to fix momentarily. Hope none of you guys have been screaming at me for that yet. Um, but yeah, this is like the overall plan. Then we would need to, you know, destroy a bunch of this stuff. Actually, interesting. Could I keep it like that? Just a train station without any possibility of connecting to any road. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Um, yeah, so here we run into the first issue. Being that a large main building doesn't really fit right there. So, um... 
I mean, we're going to prolong this a little bit, so I think having the centre one right here would probably work. I and mean, just removing a building of it, two for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to actually slightly cut through the town to actually make this train station work, which is kind of annoying. But that's just the way that I set it up. That's like now my own fault um, coming right back at me. I'm not really going to be able to do much about that. But we're going to set this part of the train station up already, so we kind of have an indication for future times of where I want to go with this. And, um, yeah, now I need to... Oh, I need to destroy that part of the train track as well. Oh, great. Oh, God. Okay. Um, we are going to destroy all this. Just like that. And I uh, get some new tracks going. Just right here. Now we've got a passenger terminal going, which is awesome. And we're going to... I don't think we need to make this one that big. We, we may have one train... So, like, that's kind of a question, right? Do we want to have a train? I think we want to have separate trains, maybe. One from Colburn to Darley Deal, one from Darley Deal to, like, Blackburn. Stapleford would be another destination, potentially, as well. So, I think we'll maybe have three passenger pla uh, passenger tracks right here. Well, Dudley and... St oh, God. I mean, there's actually a lot of cities we could establish passenger traffic with right here. Maybe we will actually make this pretty big. I think we probably should. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. We will have to fix that. Uh, what I will want to do first, though, is I actually would like to get myself over here. Um, go away. Can I click this? Why can I not? Hello? Can anybody tell me why I can't modify and click things anymore? It's a game bugging out or something. Oh, now it works. Weird. Okay, um, configure this. And what I just remembered that I missed out on was this stuff. Right, we just talked about that in the first episode. I need to get that going. So, um, this way passengers will be able to pass to other platforms on the ground. Which is why we do very much want that on here. Um, um, I'm not actually I'm not actually sure if they would move over without those like maybe they would just go across the train tracks or something I'm not sure wouldn't hope they would but yeah there we go and what I think we'll also get on here as well as some platform roofs definitely out here I think in there as well probably I think that looks a lot better I, you know it provides some shelter from the rain so I think for a big train station like this, that's a must. For like the smaller ones that we may eventually make, maybe not as much. But this will one of be one of the major train stations in this whole area. So this will definitely, definitely get that. But you know, like for smaller train stations, like you may be used to from real life, um, it's maybe not too high of a priority on our list. But look at that. That looks so I think we can actually name the station as well, and then the name should be on these name plates right there. So, you know, that's actually a good thing. It's See, it's called Colburn Annex right now. But if you guys have a good idea for how we should name the station, you know, let me know. Because we can definitely do that. That would be cool. Let me know down below in the comments. But I think, guys, with that said, that's going to be it for this episode. Already way over time again, as always. I'm really just enjoying this. I, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Um, obviously being a bit more creative in the last few episodes and a, a li little less focused on the entrepreneurial uh, part of this game. But then again, it's all just really in preparation for our first passenger traffic, which is hopefully going to give us a nice little bit of profit as well and help these towns grow even further. But, uh, well, as I said, guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. So if you did enjoy this just as much as I did, please make sure to hit that like button down below. And uh, if you're new to the channel and like uh, like what you saw and want to stay around for more and um, would like to check out some of my other series, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to stay up to date on any upcoming episodes. But as always, guys, I would like to thank you all very much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.